Channel 4, stop the show. Let's go. Channel 4, stop the show. Let's go. Local communities do not need a television company to pop on their doorstep and broadcast inaccurate filming of what was happening at grassroots level. The hard work done by residents and other agencies, including local government, in building community cohesion and a safe and just society is at serious risk today with the potential broadcasting of Immigration Street. We are ordinary people reflecting the views of ordinary communities that is trying to go about quietly on its business. And we all know that residents of Southampton have welcomed new arrivals since the early 1900s when they were came on ships and docked at our port city. Today, the families are not immigrants. They are, much, they are as much British citizens and British residents as anyone else, and China all needs to know that. They need to acknowledge this. Many of us have grown up in Southampton, and indeed many of us are fourth and fifth generation, and Channel 4 cannot be allowed to call us immigrants. So Channel 4 are the outsiders here, and Channel 4, even though we're outside, so, so Channel 4 are the outsiders in our vibrant community, and they are hurting us. And our reputation... Our will be damaged and vulnerable people will be at risk. Hi everybody, it's fantastic to see you all here today, particularly those who've travelled from Southampton. I'm from the Trade Union Congress and it's really important for Trade Unions to be here today supporting Southampton Community Alliance campaign against the immigration This is because trade unions stand for solidarity. People standing together to demand decent conditions, equality and respect for all. <laughs> South Africa Community Alliance campaign against Immigration Street is a powerful show of solidarity. It's brought together all parts of the community as we can see here today. And we need solidarity to stop immigration. And that's because only solidarity can stop division. We know Immigration Street wants to divide the community. It wants to divide local people from migrants. It wants to divide people who look British and people who don't look British, whoever they are. It wants, and we know Immigration Street wants to show migrants the reason why there are problems in the local area. It wants to demonise migrants like it demonised the poor in Benefit Street. But problems like low pay, lack of decent jobs and housing aren't caused by migrants. We know they're caused by the billions of pounds of cuts that have happened to local services. Yeah. Yeah. We know they're caused by bad employers that pay poverty wages and exploit workers. Yeah. 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 These employers, just like the producers of immigration, make it for some contract contracts so they can get away with treating them badly. It should be that exploitation that the media should expose rather than stirring up discrimination in our community. As long as workers and community are divided, conditions get worse for everyone. Only by standing together and joining a union can workers stand up and fight to demand proper conditions and pay they can live on. And it's only by standing together today can love and action, can we demand for love and action, they stop exploiting the local area and dividing our communities. Only by standing together can we get respect and equality in our communities and for shows like Immigration Street to stop. But together, we can do it. Together, we can. So, I was asked to speak on behalf of the community. And it's a great honour because it's not just a community, it's my community, it's our community. I don't know what, over the past month, it feels like a year now, it's been endless. People ask, how do you feel? What's it like being on Derby Road? What's it like being involved with that? Well, actually, I'm asking you, how would you feel if a national production company came down and camped out on your doorstep? How would you feel being a second, third generation immigrant and being half being tarnished? You 
entire street being tarnished, being called Immigration Street. How would you feel when Channel 4 decided to commission this? They sent out a press release to say that we chose Derby Road because it's ethnically diverse, where the majority of the people were not born in this country. Well, let me tell you, Channel 4, having been born and bred in that area, knowing my neighbours, knowing those families, having gone to school on that street, the majority of the people were born in this country. The only difference is we, you know, what do you, what does someone like me, second, third generation, my neighbours, what does it take for someone like Channel 4 or Love Productions to class me, to class us as British? Do I need to have a particular type of colour skin? Do I need to dress a certain way, eat a certain way, worship a certain way? What do I need to do? Chief production companies, um, Someone we met from Channel 4 yesterday, I was saying, oh no, it's okay because my granddad came from wherever and oh, I'm second, third generation. Well, actually, no one's on your doorstep banging down your door saying, you know what, we're going to take over your life irrespective of whether you want us here or not. There was a survey done when 95%, overwhelmingly, Every single person on that street overwhelmingly said, no, enough is enough, we don't want you here, because they've seen what Love Productions have done on James Turner Street. James Turner Street forever will be known as Benefit Street. We don't want, we do not want Love Productions to dub Derby Road as Immigration Street. This is not a debate about immigration. I'm happy to talk about immigration until the cows come home, as is everyone on Derby Road. This is more than immigration. If you want to debate immigration, debate it fairly, debate it balanced, have that open debate about immigration. What you don't do, Love Productions, what you do not do, Channel 4, is cherry pick individuals, most of whom do not even live on that street, to promote negative stereotypes. There was a selective few of us that that got to meet Channel 4 and I, I really respect the fact that they came down to Southampton to have a conversation with us. He turned around and said, oh, do you know what, love? You've got, you got nothing to worry about. It's going to be all happy families. It's going to be great. Um, you, when you see it, you'll be fine. If that's the case, Channel 4, if I'm actually going to be happy with it, what are you afraid of? Why then will you not work with a community to help represent them fairly and accurately? Why are you working against us? If that's the case, Channel 4, why are you reluctant and keep saying no to local health professionals to meet your health professionals to, to help mitigate concerns about the vulnerability of people you've got taking part in the project? Activists, unionists, immigrants, brothers, sisters, we are standing here today to oppose the rising tide of hate and prejudice in our communities. Let me hear you. Once upon a time it was written, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. For 500 years in Southampton, we have seen the advent of immigrant communities who have integrated and become part of British life. Working, loving, contributing to the local communities and the fabric of national society. A dark cloud has been rising across Europe and also in Britain in recent years. We've seen the rise of the far right, We've seen the rise of the politics of hate and the politics of prejudice. These organisations, these individuals are there to divide us. They are not there to unite us. We're here today with our friends standing in solidarity, with our brothers and sisters, to say that enough is enough. We're here to say that we will oppose this darkness, this hate, this prejudice. And it's come knocking on our doors in Southampton. We've seen that whether it's about benefits, whether it's about the gypsy traveller community, 
reckless media, reckless broadcasting is there to sensationalise, is there to marginalise communities. We've seen the aftermath, the prejudice, the hate. That is the reality that people have to deal with. You come here today to film in our communities and tomorrow we are the ones who are going to be left to pick up the pieces. Well, we are here to say today that we will not go quietly into the night. We will rage against the dying of the light. We communities will stand shoulder to shoulder and stand against hate, stand against oppression. We know that these programs are there to fuel and feed division in communities. They are not there to enlighten, they are not there to educate. Well, we the people of Southampton, we the people of the surrounding areas, we are going to say no more. It's time we change the narrative. This is not about integration, this is about contribution. And we are all living, working and contributing to our societies. When are we going to see our broadcasters stand up and be accountable? When are we going to see our politicians stand up and be accountable to the people? We're beginning to see an awakening in Europe now. We're beginning to see an awakening in Europe now. And it's time that awakening comes to Britain. We want to see the spring in Britain. Unionists, activists, people who define their lives on love, not on hate. We know that hate can be defeated by love. And there's no love in love productions. And sadly to my friends at Channel 4, and you may well never have me on your news programme ever again, but this means there's no love in Channel 4. Friends, brothers, sisters, unionists, activists, we will not go quietly into the night. We will rage against the dying of the light. Down with Immigration Street. For Unite the Union. I'm not an immigrant. I'm not a resident of Down Road. I'm not even a resident of Southampton. I'm here today to stand in solidarity with the community of Down Road. Yes! Solidarity amazing multicultural communities all over our country. I'm proud to live in Britain. I'm proud to share my life with people from many different backgrounds. I'm proud to have friends, colleagues, neighbours from many different countries with different religions, different beliefs, different food colours, different hair colours, different eye colours, different accents. We're all people and we all matter. Even your people. I wish my views were shared with everyone. I wish there was no such a thing as racism. No such a thing as hate. No such a thing as scapegoating. I wish, I really wish we lived in a world where everyone is friends. Where everyone is respectful of each other. But we don't. I believe if Channel 4 decide to ignore our pleas today, if they ignore our call to cancel the screening of Immigration Street, there could be a dangerous impact. Felt deeply not only on Derby Road, not only in Southampton, but in communities everywhere. I do believe in the media's right to freedom of expression. This does not stop my worry that they will abuse this right. That they will abuse it and portray what I have witnessed to be a great multicultural cohesive community. I believe they'll portray it in a negative light. The screening and the backlash from benefits sold by the same company in production had a huge ne negative impact, not just on James Arthur Street, but in communities everywhere. I remember seeing a tweet saying, send them all to the gas chambers. Ooh. These kind of extremist views are dangerous and they're fuelled by programmes such as Benefit Street. I work now in the Trade Union, Unite, building our community membership. We now encourage everyone to join a union, in or out of work. 
Community membership welcomes members who are unemployed and on benefits. Welcome students, retired, disabled, volunteers and carers. We urge people to join the union and to stand together. Fight for what you believe in. Stand together in your communities and have your voice heard. The media already does a good job of scapegoating immigrants, scapegoating people on benefits. Programmes like this only cause more hate and spread more myths. I know most people on benefits are not playing the system to get everything they want in life. Many members I have met have hit tough times. They're worried about being sanctioned. Worried about paying the food and the heating bills. Did Benefit Street share this story? Did it attract support for people on benefits? No, it didn't. It caused further divides between the working classes. It caused hatred in communities. I am scared what impact the screening of immigration street could have especially when we have a general election coming up and a growing number of right-wing politicians blaming the poorest, blaming the immigrants, blaming the working classes, blaming decent people trying to make ends meet, blaming decent people trying to find a better life, blaming people because of the colour of their skin. Channel 4 must listen to this community of Derby Road. It must listen to us now and act as a responsible broadcaster and cancel the screening of Immigration Street. We've had enough, we have enough hard work campaigning every day against racists, against homophobic, against sexist, against right-wing extremists. We do not need Channel 4 to fuel this hatred. This campaign will continue until Channel 4 listen. Then we will return to our communities to celebrate Celebrate with great friends and neighbours. Celebrate the amazing multicultural, cohesive human community that is Derby Road. Thank you.